Hi, this video is going to be a little math intense. We're going to be calculating equilibrium quantity and price as well as consumer and producer surplus with a inverse demand function and a marginal cost function. Then we're going to complicate it by adding a tax and redo the whole thing. So it's going to be a long, tedious video, but we'll get through it. So first, our question is that we have an inverse demand function, so price equals 80 minus 0.5q, so it's downward sloping, which is good. It's our demand function, our inverse demand function. Our marginal cost function, or kind of our supply function, is marginal cost equals 50 plus 0.25q, and it's upward sloping, which is good. So we're going to use these numbers to calculate equilibrium, quantity, and price, and consumer and producer surplus. Then we're going to add a tax of 15 onto each unit sold. So let's get started. In order to find equilibrium price and quantity, the easiest way to do this is to set P equal to marginal cost. Now the reason we do this is because it, the equilibrium price, the price paid by the consumer, is going to be equal to the marginal cost to the firm. And we're in a perfectly competitive market. Sorry, I should have said that before, but we are. So the price paid by the consumer is equal to the cost paid by the producer when we're at equilibrium. So we take those equations we had before price equals marginal cost and our price was 80 minus 0.5 Q our marginal cost was 50 plus 0.25 Q now we can subtract 50 from both sides and add 0.5 Q to both sides so if we subtract 50 this goes away and we're left with 30 over here and then if we add 0.5q to both sides, this goes away, and we can add it here, and we get 0.75q. Now we can divide both sides by 0.75 to get 40 equals q. So our equilibrium quantity is 40. We can now plug that into our inverse demand function, or our marginal cost function, or both, to solve for equilibrium price. So if we plug it into our inverse demand function, we get 80 minus 0.5q, or 20, equals 60. If we plug it in here, we get 50 plus 0.25q of 40, which is 10, or 60. So that's good. Our equilibrium price is going to be 60. And we've confirmed it by plugging it into both our inverse demand and our marginal cost function. So now we need to get consumer surplus. Remember, consumer surplus is the area below the demand curve but above the price. We now know the demand curve, or the inverse demand curve, and we know the price. So, the easiest way to do this would be to find where the intercept on the price curve is going to be and we can do that by setting Q equal to zero. So if Q is zero, price is going to be 80. So we know that if we were to draw a little graph, 80 is our intercept on the price axes or the Y axes we then get the downward sloping nature of our demand curve and we know it's linear here and we know what equilibrium price and quantity are 40 and 60 so the base of our triangle let me draw this a little bigger get 80, 60, and 40. So the base of our triangle is 40. The height is going to be 20, 80 minus 60. 
the area of a triangle is one half base times height so if we get 800 here times half we get 400 so our consumer surplus in this problem is going to be 400 all right to get producer surplus we need to know where the supply curve is going to intersect on our price curve and we can do that with our marginal cost equation plug in zero for Q which wipes this out and puts us right here zero for Q and that gives us a marginal cost of 50 so we know that at a P price of 50 or marginal cost of 50 we're going to intersect the P curve and then we know the equilibrium occurs at a price of 60 and a quantity of 40 so we can draw that on our graph and we get our supply curve and we know that producer surplus is the area below price but above the supply curve so in this example it's going to be one half of base which is 40 40 minus 0 times height which is 60 minus 50 or 10 so it's going to give us 400 divided by 2 is going to be 200 so our producer surplus in this example is 200 and our total surplus therefore would be 400 for consumer 200 for producer that gives us 600 in total surplus then check out the next video if you want to see how this changes with the introduction of attacks.